This is a Bitcoin.com news update. Document claims Alameda CEO Caroline Ellison's FTX margin position was negative 1.3 billion in May 2022. There's been a lot of information shared by the former FTX co-founder Sam Bankman-Fried during his interviews, and it seems that somehow, without his knowledge, a large margin account got out of control. This has been blamed on poorly labeled accounting practices and SBF said he effed up. In multiple ways, frankly. In terms of letting a margin position get too big, bigger than I thought it was. Not being thorough enough to catch that, SBF told New York Magazine. The massive margin position that took SBF off guard has been referred to in many reports about FTX and during SBF interviews. In another statement, SBF detailed that Alameda's margin position was so big that it was not going to be closable in a liquid way in order to make good on its obligations. During SBF's most recent interview with The Block's Frank Shapiro, the former FTX CEO said that regulators and auditors did not see any financial holes because customer positions in Alameda's research positions were not included in FTX's financials. This week, a document was sent to Bitcoin.com News that allegedly shows Caroline Ellison's balance on FTX seven months ago in May 2022. According to the source familiar with the matter, Ellison shared this data among a number of FTX staff members when she was experiencing a technical glitch with her personal trading account. The document shows Ellison had a negative balance at the time of around $1.31 billion in May 2022. All FTX accounts show negative balances if the user has a negative balance for specific reasons such that a payment wasn't settled or the user was in debt for margin positions. The documentation that is allegedly tied to Ellison shows an enormous balance that no ordinary user would have, including a negative quantity of FTX equity. Shapiro notes that around the 9.30 mark in his interview that Ellison mentioned that FTX extended quite a bit of credit to Alameda Research. Ellison said that you knew that Gary knew Shapiro pressed during his question and he said people within both firms knew about these lines of credit. I think she's likely correct that Alameda Research was effectively extended a substantial amount of credit by FTX, and in the end, that margin position became under severe stress and it blew out. The insider that shares the document purportedly tied to Ellison asked, how can a buddy of SBF generate a debt of that size with no collateral? There's a lot of unanswered questions that circle back to Ellison and people have been investigating the Alameda CEO for quite some time. What do you think about the document that supposedly shows Caroline Ellison had a negative 1.3 billion margin position in May? Let us know in the comments and be sure to check out news.bitcoin.com for the latest updates.